Hi guys, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do those mermindy looking uh, style uh, nails, you can check this here. Yes, a lot of beautiful shells and I like how they kind of spread all about uh, all over the board because uh, it looks like and see just throw them out uh, on the beach. Uh, absolutely beautiful uh, and quick designs which our clients are going to love. The shell looks absolutely amazing and it's a really very easy design but I think it looks absolutely uh, amazing and effective for, especially for this time of the year. So I'll show you how to create two different colors uh, just so you've got an idea. So I've got some tips. Uh, I use the blue tag to secure it and also I give you the link um, to the tip holder as well. Uh, this one actually works pretty well and they kind of, I should show you, they got the wing magnet but I find it with the magnet it's so easy to move it and it doesn't work the way it should so what I have done is I use the brush on new glue and I secure this tip holder with the glue the problem with the glue is that eventually it might come off as well but it's usually lasts me for like I would say about 10 to 20 designs when it doesn't move uh, and this is much better and comfier way so I have just put the drop of the glue in there and this way it doesn't come off as much more steady. Especially if you go, like, okay, eventually it will come off uh, because the glue will loosen. Uh, but as I say, I can do a couple more designs uh, where the tip is much more secure. So this one I'm just buffing and this design you can do it on top of the natural nails and you can do it on top of the enhancements as well. So what you would do is you will finish off uh, the nail enhancements and the extensions and then you would uh, buff the nails, remove the dust and we are going to paint it. So for one uh, I will use the color and that will be 178 candy flows. It's a really nice pink. Because we are applying the Mermind powder over it to create those Mermind shells, I don't need to apply two layers, one layer is absolutely enough. So I have just applied one layer and I'm going to give it a cure. The curing time is very important because you need to give exactly a 60 seconds cure. And then on the other tip, I just do the same, so quickly buff it and remove the dust. I might actually clean it with the new uh, dehydrator just so there is no bits and pieces of the fluff. And for the white color the situation is much easier. You just paint uh, the tip white uh, but because mine is pre-painted I can go straight into the top coat and the top coat uh, I'm going to use is the no wipe top gel. That's the high shine top coat. And I will show you that with the different type of powder as well. So I have to cure this one 60 seconds as well. So the curing, as I say, is very, very important. Now, for the tip where we have used only a top coat, I'm just going to use the Aurora powder. I've got wrong lid in there. Uh, so that's the Aurora pigment and for the other one we are going to use the Mermind effect. So the Mermind effect I'm using the one from the Indigo and I give you the links in the descriptions and the Aurora powder is a born pretty one. My tip needs to just finish in curing and then on the side I can prepare my mixture for, uh, for the shell. So I'm needing a drop of this pink which we have used it and also we are going to use the paint on French gel. I'm just going to take my palette and I need the scope of the white one and also I need to add the drop into the pink as well. 
The reason why we are adding a drop of this uh, into the pink is because uh, if we don't add this drop, um, the gel polish may wrinkle because the gel polish cannot be applied too thick. And uh, you want this texture, you want this thickness. Okay, so I've got my mixture ready. And there we are. This tip is cute as well. So I'm going to dip in my finger into the Mermine powder. So the Mermine powder sticks into the inhibition layer of the gel polish. Okay, you just dab that in and then you start rubbing it in. So that's the Mermine powder and Mermine powder works on the inhibition layer. And then I can remove the excess of it and start painting the shell design. For painting, I'm going to use the Micro Styler brush. And what I'm doing is I'm picking up the blob. Like you can see it, I'm pick, I have picked up the blob of the gel. And then I just wait for this blob to spread and pull that up to the top. Okay, so I have created the first line. I'm picking up another blob. And just slowly spread it to the top. And another one. And another one. So imagine doing so thick lines with the gel polish. It will really wrinkle. That's why I have mixed it with paint on French gel. And I love this paint on French gel because you can mix it any kind of color. And it's also great for baby boomers. So if I will want to do a pink baby boomer. Sorry, I had to hold my breath. If I will be do, doing a pink uh, baby boomer, I would just mix it uh, pink with the paint on French and then I can fade it. It's really nice because it's so highly pigmented. There is a tutorial how I do the baby boomer as well on my channel. So we have created like those wee shell design and now I'm going to give it a cure. Again, it has to be um, 60 seconds cure. And then this one, uh, so just remember, so you don't get confused. So this one is the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel and we are going to use Aurora powder this time, so not the Mermine. The Mermine sticks in only to the inhibition layer and then the Aurora powder only sticks in uh, because it's a chrome to the No Wipe Top Gel. So I'm just dipping in my finger and it has slightly different effect. And then I'm, I'm, I'm massaging it into my tip. Uh, each time when I'm using the chromes, I'm cleaning my finger with the Neil dehydrator to make sure there is no oils on it uh, to get a nicer results. And then I just remove the excess of the pigment. For chrome, before top coating is also good to scratch the free edges, so this way the uh, pigment lasts much better and it doesn't come off. And then we are going to paint the same, but because we have used white and here, I'm going to go into the white. The paint on French is quite pigmented and you can see it doesn't move too much. So what I'm going to do is I will just put a drop of the top coat, but this time I want to use the soak of top gel top coat. So just a drop of it because the soak off one has an inhibition layer and I'm going to need this inhibition layer for my Mermind to stick into. So this way it will be easier to pick up the blob. I've got one. And just again the same. But you really want those blob, otherwise it will take like too long time to paint it.
And I think those shells are really cute, especially all sort of different colors. What else I'm doing as well, like, so when I'm placing the, the bulb of the product, I'm even not sure if this word exists, I'm not pressing hard. And then uh, when I want to get the thinner line, line, I press a little bit harder. So I'm just smoothing out any bits and pieces. Which I'm not happy with. You can flash cure it in between the time if it takes you longer so the gel doesn't run. Now I'm going to cure it as well and I show you the final look. So once we have painted all those wee lines we can wrap in another uh, pigment. So I've got the gel polish mixed with paint on French so I should use the Mermine powder. I cannot use the Aurora powder because Aurora powder sticks in only to the uh, no, uh, no wipe top coat. And I'm just wrapping this in. And now I can apply the top coat. Just on the entire tip. But when applying the top coat, also make sure like you kind of brush it away, the excess of the top coat, because you've got those um, wee lines and you want them to be still visible. So brush that away in between the lines and then we are going to give it a cure. The other one is almost finished as well. So I'm just going to pick it up and then wrap that pigment in. The, lo the longer we will wrap it, like the, the smoother effect you will get it. So on this one I will show you like more shinier option. I can remove the excess and you can see how fantastic those shells looks. And it's a very very quick design uh, for a salon. So especially for a summery month, springtime, when we fed up of those dark colors. So I'm just applying the top coat again, kind of brushing it away to still show this texture and I can give it a cure. And that would be all really for this easy design. So you could see it like we have done two tips, like and it didn't took us much uh, time. And I think they look absolutely fantastic, especially as we can play with all sort of different colors. And I show you the ones which we have just done. So that's the pink one. So we've got another shelf for collection. <laughs> really cute one. And then the white one. So if you like this video, give me a thumb up or share it with your friends so they can see it as well. And I hope you have enjoyed watching it. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.